guys welcome to another day of herping Lebanon hope you're all staying safe at home or in nature finally after a few weeks at home we managed to break free and to get uh, go and get some nature and hopefully we'll find some very, uh, interesting herbs in the area here let's see what we find here oops and here we got Estella Gama our first herb for today. Check this out. A young Stellagama stellio. You've seen it in previous videos. It's a very common lizard and one of the two Agama species in Lebanon. This guy can grow like three times this size. They're insectivores and they're almost everywhere in Lebanon. So I will let him go now and try to find more cool stuff. Here he I just left the plastic near the place where we found an agama and we found a baby, a large whip snake, Dolicophis jugularis. Check this out. Just a few minutes in, on the field and we already found this, our first snake. Check this out. It's a juvenile probably hatched last year. As you can see, it's still brown spotted in color this color helps them to camouflage from predators while they're still young and as soon as they grow more than one meter they uh, their color start changing until they are full black uh, these guys are non-venomous uh, but they will bite as a defense if they are cornered or threatened uh, they feed mainly on lizards uh, as juveniles and as they grow their uh, diet switches to rodents uh, birds Lizards and even other snakes, or almost anything actually that they can they can fit in their mouths, including some amphibians as well. Uh, they're very important for the agriculture. They play a great role in controlling the numbers of rodents and other animals that are considered pests for farmers. Uh, ancient, like uh, in the old days, farmers used to release these snakes in their lands on purpose. To control the rodent population and to protect their crops. So after taking a few pictures, I will let go of this beauty. Exactly where we found it. Ta-da! Here it goes. We're gonna continue our journey. There is a water stream nearby and uh, lots of tree cover with the very little human activity so hopefully we'll be finding more herbs it's also a potential place for fire salamanders and frogs but they will probably be active at night so we can only find them under hiding under rocks and logs we will do the fl we'll continue flipping and show you everything we find stick around Check out this flower guys, I'm not an expert in plants, but this is pretty cool. It's really big as you can see. The colors are quite epic. Uh, locally people think it's poisonous, I'm not sure. If anyone can confirm that, mention it in the comment please. Okay guys, look what we just found. It's a tiny baby near eastern fire salamander. It probably just uh, emerged from its larval stage and acquired its terrestrial lifestyle uh, it already has its yellow spots and uh, it will feed on small worms and the lizards now here it goes inside the rock trying to hide in the shade again I will take a few pictures of this guy before it leaves it's epic, I hope we find some adults as well and here we have it Mediterranean bandit, uh, bandit centipede, uh, Scolopendra singulata. It's a young one. They can reach 15 centimeters. Uh, they're venomous, but not life-threatening for humans. They can give a painful bite. Uh, feed on insects, small lizards, worms, etc., etc. This one is quite calm. Usually, they move a lot. Here it goes. Our journey continues, we entered more grassy area 
and less flippable stuff but the habitat is epic I'm still hoping to find more snakes though it got cooler now. and I just flipped probably the coolest millipede I've ever seen if anyone has any idea what this millipede is please feel free to comment below the video I will also take a few pictures of this beauty and let it go and here guys we have a gravid female Lebanon lizard uh, Fenicola serta livis it's sunbathing heating up its body for the eggs to be ready to be laid I'll try to find a male males are pretty colorful these days they have beautiful uh, turquoise throat I managed to spot some but sadly they escaped before I was able to take uh, videos of them and here guys we just flipped a juvenile tarantula Caetopelma olivacum it's a very common tarantula species in Lebanon this one is tiny baby this little one is a male you can see the tiny hooks on the front legs these hooks are used to grab females during the mating uh, these guys get active at night hunting for uh, insects of different kinds during the day they hide under rocks in their burrows another lovely encounter for today is a ripple snake eye skink it's probably the smallest lizard we have in Lebanon this is a young adult they grow slightly bigger than this and they spend most of their time in uh, swimming uh, in the leaf litter especially in pine forests and all that so you can see lots of them around on the leaves but they are very hard to uh, catch because they disappear instantly whenever you spot them okay guys we just found a dwarf snake it's a baby Erinis levantinos Levantine dwarf snake check this out it's a beautiful look at the pattern of the head it's one of the insectivorous species they can grow up to 30 centimeters and get quite chubby for a snake this is a baby probably hatched last year last spring we will take a few still shots of this baby and let it go it's our second snake for today it's quite productive so I took, took close-ups of this beauty and now I will let it go exactly where I found it. Here we go. Amazing.